Welcome to part 39 of Let's Play Pokemon Yellow. In this video I'm going to be levelling up all my Pokemon to level 40. Okay, which Pokemon are on my team right now? Um, Goldeen, um, that evolves into Seeking at level 33. Um, Rhyhorn evolves into Rhydon at level 42, um, so I won't be evolving that one. I'll just level it up to uh, level 40. Um, Pidgeotto evolves into Pidgeot at level 36. Um, Doduo evolves at level 31 into Dodrio. Cubone evolves into Marowak at level 28 and Parasect doesn't evolve um, so I just put that one up to level 40 normally okay um, so let's do this um, most of this will be done off camera um, um, but I'll just um, start out um, and show you what I'm going to be doing Okay, so I'm just going to be going in this grass and battling these Pokemon. And then flying back. Alright. I'll have to switch this one out. I'll switch it with Rhyhorn. Trying all the powders on me. Okay. Yeah, so that's pretty much what I'm going to be doing um, with all the Pokemon I own. Um, yeah, just like the last time I leveled up my Pokemon, um, I'm going to be showing you the evolutions. So, all the ones um, that evolve on or before level 40. Um, I will be leveling up, um, I'll, I'll level them up um, to the level before they evolve and then make it so they only need one more battle um, to level up and evolve. So for example, I, I will level Goldeen up to level 32 and make it so it only needs one or two battles until it levels up to 33, um, whereupon it, it should evolve into um, Seeking. So yeah, um, when I come back, um, that will be the case with all my Pokemon. Um, and the other ones will be um, at level 40. The ones that don't evolve will be at level 40 anyway. Um, so yeah, I'll be back in just a mo for you. Okay, I'm back. Um, these Pokemon are ready to evolve. Um, they all need only one battle um, to level up. Um, yeah, so let's do this. There we go. Um, all the other ones, um, all the other ones that uh, that don't evolve either on or before level 40 are at level 40. Okay, wing attack. There we go, just needs 26 experience points, that's enough. Level 36, and what? It's evolving. And Pidgeotto evolved into Pidgeot. Right, that's the first one. Let's now do Goldeen, uh, ready to evolve into Seeking. Yeah, it learned um, Supersonic and Fury Attack, I think. Um, let's do Horn Attack.
Goldians at level 33, and what it's evolving. And Goldine evolved into Seeking. Okay, that's that done. Right, now for the next one. Uh, Ivysaur. Yeah, Ivysaur evolves at level 32, but the other two starters, Charmeleon and Wartortle, will evolve at 36. I don't know why. That's just how it is. Yeah, after I evolve all that needs evolving, um, I'll pause the video again and uh, get them up to level 40. Um, so that everything's at level 40. Um, yeah, um... I was having a lot of fun with Venomoth, um, so it's actually it's actually at level 41, not at level 40, but uh, it doesn't really matter. Yeah, Ivysaur is quite difficult to level up here because of the because uh, um, uh, um, many of the Pokémon here, um, the, the Bell Spells and Oddish is also Grass type, and it's not really effective. But. Uh, I managed it anyway. Um, yes, yeah, so Venomoth is at uh, level 41. The others are at level 40. Uh, not very effective. Stun Spore, brilliant. Okay, let's hurry this on a bit by uh, hurry this up a bit by using Poison Powder. Nope. Oh yeah, it won't work, will it? Because uh, Oddish is poison type. Uh, let's just keep using Razor Leaf until. Uh, until it's fainted. <sighs> yeah, Razor Leaf is one of the best, uh, one of the best grass moves. There's that acid sound effect again. I think this is bad. Vine Whip does even less. Let's see if I can do Leech uh, Leech Seed. No, nope, evaded attack. Just three more of these. This literally is all it needs to evolve. going to do it then, but it didn't. Okay, so uh, we're about to get Venusaur at last. And what Ivysaur is evolving? Ivysaur evolved into Venusaur. Okay, next. Next one won't be quite as annoying. Charmeleon's about to evolve um, into Charizard at level level 36. Slash, nice and powerful. Good one hit KO this time. Charmeleon grid level 36, and what Charmeleon is evolving. Charmeleon evolved into Charizard. Yeah, I think this one's also flying now. Charizard is flying, so I can actually teach it. Uh, I think I can teach it. Um, yeah, I can teach it fly, but uh, I won't be doing that. Okay, uh, War Turtle. Just needs one more battle to evolve it into Blastoise. Yeah, um, got a bit 
bit carried away with their Venomoth as at level 41. Okay, let's do Bite. I'll get it flinched. Level 36, and what War Turtle is evolving? War Turtle evolved into Blastoise. Okay, next. And um, Ponytail is about to evolve into um, Rapidash. Just needs one more, one more battle. Um, also, it's, uh, it evolves at level 40, so I don't have to level it up to 40 after I do this, because it will already be at 40, which is convenient. I haven't, I haven't evolved um, Rhyhorn, because that doesn't evolve until level 42, I think. Oh, another Venomoth. Like the Venomoth I have at level 41. Okay. Fire sp yeah, it learned Fire Spin, um, which I deleted. I deleted uh, Tail Whip with that, and it learned that and that as well. Um, let's do that. Stomp. How would anyone ride this horse? Because it's on. Because it has flames on it, it would hurt. Anyway. Level 40, and what ponies is evolving? Ponies evolved into Rapidash. Okay, that's that done. Let's fly back to uh, Pokemon Center and get the other two out. Oh yeah, it's Pidgeot now, isn't it? I was looking for Pidgeotto. Eh? Still knows fly though. Okay, let's heal up. Put these away. I'll show you the other Pokemon actually while I'm here. Yeah, um, Gengar has finally learned uh, Dreamy to at level 38, so it doesn't learn any more moves, and it's now at level 40. So that's the end of um, Gengar's little uh, little adventure really in learning moves. But I'll still use it. Like I'll use all of them. Okay, let's get rid of Rapidash. Um, let's change box and uh, show you things. Okay, yeah, there's Parasect, Rhyhorn, Taurus, Execute, Gyarados, Weep and Burl, Scyther, Raticate, Sunslash, Mew, Clefairy, Gengar, Jigglypuff, Ox, there. Onyx, Pikachu, Golbat, Alakazam, Vaporeon. That's learned um, Aurora Beam. Um, Butterfree has learned um, Psy Beam. Pinsir has learned Guillotine, so that's quite good. Let's change box again. But yeah, all at level 40, except for except for Venomoth, which is at level 41. Yep, yeah, um, that's learned... Uh, what's that learned? Thunder Wave, that's right. There's uh, Primate, Bloom, Nidorino, Hypno, Dugtrio, Machamp, Nidorino, Venomoth at 41, like I said, uh, Golem, Porygon, that's learned Agility, that's pretty much what it's learned. Um, Golem has learned something interesting, I think, I think it's learned Earthquake. Yeah, it's learned Earthquake. Um, uh, yeah, Porygon, Vulpix, uh, Tangela, Snorlax, Chansey, um, Fero, and Kangaskhan. Kangaskhan is actually quite powerful. For some reason it only has 138 out of 140 HP. Um, yeah, it has um, Mega Punch and Bite and uh, Comet Punch. Yeah, it's quite powerful. Okay, let's go back to 3 then. Let's deposit uh, Seeking. Draw the other two that need evolving though duo and cubone. Okay, let's go and evolve these and then I'll pause the video and level uh, level them all up to level 40 at least. And then I'll continue exploring Route 15. Q 
Keyburn only has 70 to add a 73 HP for some reason. Don't know why. I must not have um, healed it before I put it back. Anyway, it's ready to evolve at level 28. Um, headbutt. Poison type, maybe ground type is good against poison types, I don't know. I just don't know. Anyway, Keybone's at level 28, and what Keybone is evolving? Here's my Marowak at last, after seeing loads of them in the Safari Zone and, and the ghost of one in the Pokemon Tower. I finally have my own Marowak. Yeah, the Pokedex says a uh, um, list of list of all the Pokemon I own. I don't actually own a Cubone or a Bulbasaur anymore. They've turned into other ones. I mean, if it goes by Pokemon that, that I own, then it should delete the entries when they evolve. But it doesn't. It's not really Pokedex that I own. You know, 83. It's, Poke um, it's Pokemon that I have owned. So it should say have owned. Anyway, um, um, just that uh, that Do Duo to. Uh, to um, evolve and then uh, and then we're done. Yeah, it obviously learns Tri Attack after it evolves into Dojo because it hasn't learned Tri Attack yet. It's learned Drill Peck though, which is a really really good uh, flying move. A flying move that I think Pidgeot doesn't learn. Why I don't know. That's why I taught Fly to Pidgeot. I think it doesn't learn it anyway. Lovely jubbly. Right. Dojiro is at level 31, and what Dojiro is evolving? Lovely. All that happens is it gains a tail and an extra head. Doesn't get any extra feet. Be even worse flying, I imagine. Dojiro evolved into Dodrio. Anyway, now that that's, uh, that, that's done, let's fly back to Pokemon Center. I will pause the recording. And when I come back, I'll have uh, leveled them all up to level 40 at least. Maybe one level 41 by accident because I was having too much fun, like with Venomoth. But yeah. Heal them all up. Make sure I do so that they're not. Uh, so they don't have one or two fewer than the max. Fewer health points than the maximum. Whoops, wrong button. I don't know why I'm doing that, they need levelling up, don't they? Anyway, when I come back, they'll all be at level 40 at least. Back in a moat. Okay, I'm back. Um, all my Pokémon are now at level 40, except for Venomoth, which is at level 41. Okay, so now I can continue with Route 15 after all that. Right. That took me ages, by the way. Alright, um, I've been at this for several hours. Um, right, let's deposit Seeking. Let's change, actually I'll just show you all the other ones here. They're all at level 40. Lovely jubbly. Um, Marowak and several other Pokemon, I can't remember which ones they were attempted to learn um, Focus Energy, but I, uh, um, I didn't let them learn it because um, Focus Energy is useless. It's supposed to increase the likelihood of a critical hit, like a dire hit, like the dire hit item. But um, um, because of a glitch in the game, it actually makes it virtually impossible for a critical hit to occur. So it's never, um, it's never worth learning. Right, let's, uh, let's withdraw Pikachu. There it is. Get Pikachu back. There we are. Okay, what else can I withdraw? Um, um, Parasect, of course, because I'll need Cut. And let's withdraw a few others, a few weirdos. Um, Scyther. Um, not Mew, of course, that's cheating. I'll show you Dream Eater with Gengar. And Taurus, why not? Is that my team? Yep. 
Okay, let's continue with Route 15 at last. Alright, yeah, so all my Pokemon, uh, except for Venomoth, are at level um, 40. Venomoth's at level 41, and they're all evolved. All the ones that can evolve on or before level 40 are evolved. Um, I'll have to do the uh, I'll have to do other evolutions soon uh, with the Water Stone and Moonstone and things because um, yeah I'll have to check um, which I um, which moves are still to be learnt before I evolve them because I don't want to uh, uh, um, I don't want to evolve them too late because then they'll be weaker but I don't want to evolve them too early because then they won't learn the moves. Yeah, so I'll have to look that one up for the next part, um, or or the part after that. Anyway, so yeah, there's nothing in there. We've checked that. Let's go through here. Let's, uh, let's do some battling. Uh, Gengar isn't at full health again for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah, that doesn't matter. I'll heal him up later. Um. I'll use him now, actually, since he's done that. For some reason, I, I think it's some—I think it's some sort of problem with putting them in the uh, in the, in the PC. When I get them out, sometimes they don't have um, they don't have full health. They have one uh, they have one less or two less than full health. I think it's some problem with the PC, a glitch or something. Anyway, yeah, we've uh, battled him. And we haven't battled him, right. Have you heard of the legendary Pokemon? Yes, I have. Yeah, we need to go into Power Plant after we reach Saffron. After, after we're done with Saffron, we'll, uh, we'll go to the Power Plant and get Zapdos, because that's where he is. Uh, Articuno is in the Seafoam Islands, and Moltres, is the other bird, is in um, Victory Road. Anyway, let's put it to sleep. And I'll show you Dream Eater. Actually, that'll get its health um, up to maximum. Dream Eater, it, it eats health. Yeah, here's Dream Eater. It's a psychic move, so two psychic moves and two ghost moves has uh, Gengar. It sounds like Hypnosis, but a bit different. Ooh, that was close. Farfetch's Dream was eaten. Now I'm at maximum health. Yeah, I deleted Lick with Dream Eater. I didn't want to get rid of Confuse around Nightshade or Hypnosis because you need Hypnosis for Dream Eater. Uh, so, I, um, so I got rid of Lick. It isn't that good anyway. It's pretty rubbish. It sometimes paralyzes enemies. Uh, let's do another... Uh, uh, let's do a Nightshade, actually, not another Dream Eater. Excellent. Defeated the Bird Keeper. Why? Why'd I lose? Because you only had one Pokemon, £825 for winning. The three legendary Pokemon are all birds of prey. Right, let's show you um, Tauros. Um, yeah, it's, it's a pretty well-rounded, um, pretty well-rounded Pokemon. It has yeah, some pretty well-rounded moves, well, early on. <coughs> hasn't learned anything particularly decent yet. Um, we ride out here because there's more room. Yeah, so I need to start thinking about the other evolutions, the uh, the ones that evolved with Moonstone, Waterstone, Thunderstone, Leafstone, and Firestone. Uh, so just execute. Um, Pikachu, but I can't evolve this Pikachu with a Thunderstone because it won't allow it. It just says it doesn't want it. I have to get another Pikachu to do that. Anyway, um, I think I do. Anyway, I hope I don't get another Pikachu and it ends up walking around with me as well. And I'll have to, I'll have to Game Shark a, uh, a Raichu if that happens, but I don't think it will. Anyway, let's do this. Yeah, they they know they mucked up in this game with Taurus, a Pokemon that's just male, because you can't get a female ball. That's why in the next game they added um, Miltank. Although, interestingly, uh, Jinx, I mean, you can't really get a male Jinx. 
but in the next yeah, in the next game they're always female, but you don't know how they breed. I mean, you have to breed them with a ditto. Like although with Mr. Mime, I think you can get a female Mr. Mime, which is ridiculous. Really, it should be Mrs. Mime. But and later on in the series, um, Generation Four or something, there's Mime Junior. I mean, how would it have kids? I mean, it's just how can you have a female Mister? Yeah, let's change Pokemon. Um, I'll show you um, Scyther. Okay, a sword stance that will increase my attack by a lot. This is the scythe I caught in the uh, safari zone. Well, they didn't see me catch it because it was too much of a pain to do it because it took me ages. I kept running away. You know, slash. This should be a one-hit KO with sword stance and the power of slash. Really amazing. It still isn't. Shows you how rubbish uh, scythe is really. You know, for a sword start and a slash. Must have weak attack. Alright, wipe out. 580 pounds for winning. What do you say? It's cool, you made your Pokemon so strong. Might is right, and you know it. Yes, it's right, that's why I spent ages training them all up in that annoying grass. Uh, is there an item over here or something? Nope. Okay, let's do this person. Have you taught your bird Pokemon how to fly? Yes, I have. So it's, it's not a bird keeper. I don't know why a bird keeper has to have a mohawk. Spearow. I'm sitting at Scyther again. No, it's Taurus again. Fairly decent normal move that. Okay, I'll show you Parasect. Parasect has, has learned Slash. That's the only move it learned uh, from levelling up to 40. It's learned Slash, I think. Um, I went over Scratch. I didn't want to get rid of Mega Drain because that was a uh, that, that was um, that was a TM. I can't delete Cut even if I wanted to, which I wouldn't anyway because I need it. But yeah, I don't want to delete Mega Drain because that was a TM. It's a pretty decent move. I don't want to delete Spore because that's the best sleeping move. Um, it has almost 100% success rate. So I got rid of um, Scratch and replaced it with Slash because Slash is effectively just a better version of Scratch anyway. So yeah, that's what Parasect knows now. Pretty decent moveset. Uh, Parasect would be a decent Pokemon like this if it weren't for the for the fact that Parasect has very weak uh, attack and defense anyway. But um, I can't improve on that. Okay, Fero, let's get out to Pikachu and show that. Can't remember if uh, Pikachu learns anything. It might have done. Uh, yeah, it learned agility. That's right. I went over Thunder Wave with agility because um, I was sick of having Thunder Wave, pretty much. I don't need it. Um, Thunderbolt can cause paralysis if, if I'm lucky. I don't need a move that just causes paralysis. Um, shot down in flames. Uh, 700 pounds for winning. Okay, bird Pokemon on my true love. Okay, I'll just battle this person and I'll end, end the video. Let's get Pidgeot out and show you that how powerful that is now. The TMs are on sale in Celadon, but only a few people have HMs. I have them all. Interestingly, uh, Sea King, which I've levelled up to 40 now, uh, knows Waterfall. It now knows Waterfall, which incidentally, from generation well, in Generation 2, it's an HM. Um, I'm unsure whether if I trade over this Seeking to Gold, Silver, Crystal, whether it won't let me delete Waterfall because in that game it's an HM. I don't know, I've never tried it. But yeah, now there's Waterfall, which is uh, a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent water move. I don't think it's as good as um, Surf. And it's certainly not as good as. Uh, doesn't have the power of Hydro Pump, but it's pretty decent nonetheless. Whirlwind, try to use Whirlwind even though we're not in a, a wild Pokemon battle. There we go. I always think Pidgeot looks like it has, from the back, it looks like it has long hair, like like uh, an old woman's long hair. 
Like, like it's been died too many times and sort of lost its sort of vitality a bit. Uh, to use a word that shampoo adverts use. Um, yeah, let's do Gengar again. But yeah, that's uh, this Pidgeot now. It falls at level 36. Alright, so you can't do Dream Eater. This is what happens if you do Dream Eater without putting it to sleep. Gengar's attack missed. It will always miss unless you put it to sleep, so you have to put it to sleep. That, that is, of course, if you can get Hypnosis to work, which is annoying. It has to be Hypnosis, because Hypnosis only has a nearly 60% success rate. Um, along with um, Sing, it's the worst um, the worst sleeping move. The, the middle sleeping move is Sleep Powder with, I think, 70-odd percent success rate. And the best one is Spore, as I've said, which nearly has a 100% success rate. But I have to put up with Hypnosis. Which sort of m makes uh, Dream Eater a bit worse, because, you know, you have for it to work, you have to get Hypnosis to work. Which is clearly a problem, because that's the fourth attempt, and it works after the fourth attempt. That's a one out of four success rate, really. And it has a three, nearly three out of five um, success rate, you know, from the statistics. But that was clearly a 25% success rate, so uh, not living up to its potential. You know, Dream Eater. Let's, uh, that, that fainted. 1,006 experience points, and what do we get? Oh, bummer. Uh, £725 for winning. Teach Pokemon moves to the same element type for more power. Yeah, you get... If you teach, a, like, for example, a, a fighting Pokemon a fighting move, or a psychic Pokemon a psychic move, that move will then have a 1.5 um, times um, advantage, so it'll do 1.5 times as much damage as whether you, uh, than if you taught... Um, Psychic to a non-psychic Pokémon. For example, Psybeam with Porygon isn't as powerful, even with the, even if even if Porygon were, even if it did have more attack, um, it's not as powerful as a Psybeam with Alakazam. You know, if you put the different attack stats to one side, because uh, Porygon isn't a psychic Pokémon, but Alakazam is, so Alakazam gets the same type attack advantage. Um, the same type, same type attack boost, which is known as um, uh, the stab acronym, I think. Anyway, any items around here? No. Okay, let's battle one more uh, geezer. And then I'll end the video, actually. My bird Pokemon should be ready for battle. Another bird keeper. Yes, yeah, so that's what that bloke was talking about for the uh, attack advantage thing. Yeah, I, I've kept sand attack because I find it so annoying. Um, obviously, it's going to be useful on uh, with Pidgeot, but uh, it hasn't actually learned any new attacks since uh, Wing Attack. Um, I don't know if it learns any more. Actually, I can't remember. I don't think it learns Drill Pack. I'm pretty sure it doesn't learn Drill Pack, but I could be wrong. I'd be pleased if it did, but I don't think it does. I bet it does now, just to spite me, just to just to prove I was wrong. Yeah, certainly uh, Fero and Dodrio are the best uh, uh, bird Pokemon. Um, Farfetch'd is pretty awful. I will uh, catch a Farfetch'd on this route, actually, just before I reach Vermilion, because there's a bit of grass there with Farfetch'd in it, as well as Weeping Bells, Glooms, Oddishes, Bell Sprouts, Pidges, that sort of thing. Um, I think. I think it has Pidges anyway. I think it might not have Pidges. Um, I'll just keep uh, Taurus out. Um, yeah, but Farfetch is one of the worst uh, bird Pokemon. Um, yeah, the best ones are Dodrio, uh, Dodrio rather, and um, Fero. I mean, they learn the better moves. And they don't learn Whirlwind. 
Not ready yet. £650 for winning. They need to learn better moves. That's right, they do. Okay, let's get out of here. Okay, I'm ending the video now. Yeah, so next part will be me continuing along that route, maybe reaching the bit with Farfetch'd and catching one, I don't know. But yeah, Farfetch'd are available in this game, they're not available in um, Blue and Red, you have to trade for one that's called Ducks, D-U-X. Incidentally, uh, Lickitung is also available in this game, in, in, uh, in the Cerulean Cave. Uh, they're not available in blue and red except with an in-game in trade and you get one named Mark, spelled with a C, M-A-R-C, M -A -R -C. Um, yeah, Mark it's called, uh, Lickitung. So in theory you could get one, you could legitimately get one in blue and red by trading one from here, but um, I usually just use a game shark and get one that's not called Mark uh, by doing that. Anyway, I'll get some different Pokemon out to use just for a laugh in the video. Okay, let's put um, Scyther away. Not that. Scyther, Tauros, showing you that, and Gengar, put that away as well. Um, yeah, I'll show you Rhyhorn. Execute. Can't remember when it learns its final move, and then I'll evolve it with the Leaf Stone into Executor. And I'll show you, um, I've shown you guide off before. Um, Pinsir, I'll show you Pinsir. Oh yeah, yeah, Vaporeon's learned Aurora Beam, which is quite good. I think it learns Mist as well, but I'm unsure. No, not Mist, Hey, no. It is Mist, I think, I can't remember. Anyway, um, yeah, it must be some sort of glitch with the, uh, with the uh, PC, because those two Pokemon I withdrew, they all have... I know for a fact they they were full health before I put them in there, because I checked. Because I, I healed them before I put them back in. So it must not have been me um, me forgetting to heal them. That would explain why they, have, uh, why they haven't lost any PP either. They have maximum PP, but they're one away or two away. I think they're just one away from maximum health. They were f they were full health before I put them in the PC. Now then, you no, know, then they weren't. There m must be a glitch with the PC or something because I've been leveling up or something. I don't know. Anyway, uh, Pikachu is quite low HP. Yeah, Rhyhorn. What does he know? Round and Rock. He's going to evolve in two moves. I'll see if I can uh, evolve him just by uh, um, battling those trainers. Yeah, Horn Attack, Stomp, Tail Whip, and Fear Attack. Pretty much the same thing, almost as uh, Tauros. How many does he need? Nearly 4,000 experience points. How many does he have? 82,188. Right. Execute. What does he know? Grass and Psychic. Quite low speed, but decent special and defense. Barrage. Hypnosis. Leech Seed and Reflect. Pretty rubbish moves. I think it tried. I think it wanted to learn Poison Powder and um, maybe Stun Spore, but I wouldn't allow it because I don't really want to get rid of Reflect, Hypnosis, or Leech Seed, or Barrage. And finally, Pinsir. Yeah, I taught it the Strength HM, so it has that. That's a pretty decent, uh, pretty decent move. I think it is normal. It's a normal move. Vice Grip, Guillotine. Yeah, it learned Guillotine, Seismic Toss, so that's quite good. Guillotine's a one-hit KO. I think it only, it only doesn't miss Guillotine if you have. Otherwise, it always misses. I think it, it only, it has a low uh, success rate anyway, it often misses, but it can only be effective on a Pokemon that's a lower level, I think. I don't think it can, I don't think you can have a level 20 Pinsir with Guillotine and, and uh, one hit KO, a level 100 Mewtwo, because Guillotine will never work, it has to be a, a weaker Pokemon on on which you do, um, it has to be on a weaker Pokemon that you do uh, uh, Guillotine. Anyway, they're my Pokemon I'm going to use, so I'm going to save the game. Yeah, it must be some sort of glitch with the uh, with the um, the PC that causes them to lose one point of HP. Maybe because I've been leveling them up. I don't know, but uh, it's annoying because I definitely healed them at the thing. I definitely healed them before I put them in there. I made a habit of doing it, and I wouldn't have missed all three of those. Not healed three of them for heaven's sake. Anyway, thank you for watching, and bye bye.